What's the Chow Chin Chow? It's James PH Games here, and welcome to the Pokemon Y All Star Elimination Lock. If this is the brand new LP to our channel, it's going to be absolutely amazing. A uh, few things I've got to get through first before we uh, start this LP, though, first off. If you guys don't know what an Elimination Lock is, basically it's an adaptation of a Nuzlocke. And we all know what a Nuzlocke is by now. A Nuzlocke is a set of challenges that you can use to make a Pokemon game even more harder for yourselves. And it contains a series of rules. One, I'm only allowed to catch one encounter per route town area or cave, and that's to be the first thing I see. Two, I have to nickname everything I catch. And three, most importantly, Anything that faints inside or outside a bow is considered dead, and I cannot use it. Ever again, it must be put into a box which is clearly labelled death or released as soon as possible. But it's not always possible. Anyway, uh, the, the elimination rules for the, uh, the elimination lock rules are pretty much simple. Uh, pretty much uh, simple. They so change a few of the rules uh, to the first and third rules of this game. So. What are those rules that we are changing for this? Basically, you are predetermined a set of Pokemon. And that's how the Elimination Lock rules. You can choose 6, 12 or 18 Pokemon. I am choosing 18. And they are all going to be my mascots or very favorite Pokemon of my friends that I have met throughout doing this channel on YouTube. So, you're going to see a lot of people, you're going to see a lot of my friends favorite Pokemon out there. And it's a tribute to them, and to say thank you for becoming, uh, thank you for being a friend. So that's what this series is all about. Now the whole elimination part of this series is, is if one of those Pokemon dies, I'm not allowed to catch anything to replace it. That is literally that slot gone. So for example, I'm using 18 Pokemon here. If one of those Pokemon dies, that's it. That Pokemon's dead, that slot is dead, I only have 17 to go left. If I lose a lot of Pokemon and only have one left, that means I only that means it's only a so it's gonna be a solo run all the way through until oh, that Pokemon dies. So I'm not you know, I'm looking forward to this, and it's gonna be interesting, so we will honestly see. I'm a little scared. But let's start already. I've uh, I've uh, Wasted enough of your guys' time, so let's start already. Um, uh, welcome to the world of Pokemon. I am Augustine Sikimor, the Kalos region's very own Pokemon professor. And this world is ours. It's widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. These mysterious creatures can be found all over the world. Some run across the plains, others fly through the skies and swim through our vast oceans. We live together with Pokemon, lending our strengths to live and prosper. <laughs> My French accent goes out, in and out all the time. I can't do it. Let's start with a few quick questions. Are you a boy or a girl? I am a boy. And what do you look like? Okay, so it's given me three designs. I really don't like either, but the first one looks a lot like me. So I think we'll go with this one. Oh, I see. And uh, what would be your name? My name is Joe. But since I already have a save, you know what? I'll call myself Joe. We always call ourselves Joe, so that's not going to change here. So, my name is Joe. So, Joe is it? Did I get that right? Yes, yes you did. Joe, Trebian. What a wonderful name that is. Joe, your adventure starts now. You will enter the beautiful Kalos region. Go and meet people and Pokemon and experience things. Text is going too fast. Go and visit the world of Pokemon. Hmm. 
to kill a Fletchling for a rude awakening. I do not like Fletchling waking me up like that, but here we are in my gym jams. Oh look, I can record an episode or something. Joe checked the PC his dad gave him. I have a dad. Adventure rule number one. Open the e open the men the X button opens the menu. That's what it would say. Two. Record your process with save. Okay. Okay. It's a Wii U. Even the gamepad has a screen. It's a movie about a 72-year-old man who went on a journey with his beloved cat Pokemon. Okay. As a wardrobe, I don't need right now, and it's a mirror. Let's change. Joe looked into the mirror. And changed out of his pajamas. There we go. I look nice now. Let's go downstairs. Hey, Mum. Morning, Joe. You sure slept well, all rested from the move. It's about time you got going. Why don't you step outside and say hello to the neighbours? And there's the bird that tried to wake us up early this morning. Go away, birdie. One of the things I do love about this is the fact that your mum has a bedroom. It's a small bedroom, but it's a bedroom nonetheless. Your mum has a room of her own where she can sleep, which is cool. This is the first game where that is available, and we have this... Why do we have this big TV above a fireplace if we can't interact with the big TV above a fireplace? Mum, why can't I interact with this big TV above a fireplace? What's the point? Why do you put a big TV in front of a fireplace? It's dangerous. It's a fire hazard. And there's two girls at my door. This never happens. This never happens. It's only in dreams that you get two girls outside your door. Only in my dreams, that is. Welcome to Vanderville Town. My name is Sharina, and I'm your neighbour. And I'm Shana, glad to meet ya! Guess what? We came to get you! The esteemed Professor Sycamore lives here in the Kalos region. He had a request for five kids, including us. Although I'm a little surprised he knows who you are. You only just moved to Vanderville Town after all. We'll wait for you in the next town over and guess what? We're gonna get a Pokemon! Come on, let's hurry! Yeah, that's my Shauna voice. Uh, I'm not changing it for the world. I know it's annoying, but I feel like she deserves the annoying Professor Elm voice. And that's what she's going to get throughout this whole entire Let's Play. I'm sorry to you guys who hate the Professor Elm voice that I put on for, the, uh, for these series. But I'm going to give her that voice. Okay, so Route 1. Smallest route in the game. No Pokemon available on this route, so why am I even running around here? Hey, Joe, over here! Okay. Let's go over here. We were just talking about you! Come on, have a seat! Oh, I don't really want to. This is the meeting place, Joe. Let me introduce you. Here, let me introduce you. Everyone, this is Joe. Wow, Shauna's description was spot on! So, Joe, this is Tieno. He's got some serious dance moves, and this is Trevor. He never misses a single answer on his test, but he's a little shy. Alright, nice to meet ya! You know, I'd feel a bit closer if we all you called each other by nicknames. Can I call you J Meister? No, you may not call me J Meister. <laughs> no way! He's Little J for sure! No, no, I'm not Little J either. <laughs> What do you think, Trevor? Hmm. So you want me to nickname a person I've just met? Shauna, you shouldn't put people on the spot like this. Well, how about something low-key? Maybe something like... Big J. You decide what we want to call... what you want us to call you. Uh, I'd prefer to have none of these names. Yeah, I'm gonna say you call me none of these names. You can call me this, though.
You want us to call you Juice PH Games? S yes, I want you to call us that. Okay, Juice PH Games suits you perfectly. I'm, uh, I'm sure we'll get along great. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm going to become great friends, so I'll call you that too. Hey, can we see the Pokemon now? I really want to get my new Pokemon partner. I know, right? And me and Trev's got our first Poke first Menar Pokemon. I hope you feel the same way we did. Okay, so we get a Pokemon. Yay! So, if this were a normal LP, this would be where I made. A f I told you guys to pick my starter. But the fact is, this is an all-star elimination lock, and none of these Pokemon are actually part of... None of these Pokemon are our friends' mascots. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to pick my favourite Pokemon out of all of them. Uh, question of the day for today's episode, obviously, will be in the layout. And the question of the day is, what is your favourite Sip Gen starter? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm probably already asked this question before. But, you know, it's a new series, so it's a new set of questions. It's not... It's a it's a rollover on the question of the day. It's a rollover. That's all I'm gonna say. New series, rollover on question of the day. Anyway, I'm gonna go pick Fennekin. Fennekin's my favourite. Receive Fennekin. Cool. Would you like to give your new partner a nickname? Yes I would. Okay. I'm gonna call you. No. Foxy. That's what I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you Foxy. That's what I call my Fennekins. I call them Foxy. So you decided on the nickname Foxy. Yes. My partner's Chespin. We go together great. We're so cute. Nice to meet you, Froakie. I'm Serena. Because of you, I get to be a real Pokemon trainer. Thank you. Um, pardon me. But I have something to give you as well. Oh, I, I understand it's uh, very important and it'll help you uh, understand Pokemon on a much deeper level. We received a Pokedex. Yay! Um, you see, the Pokedex is a high tech device that automatically records p the data on Pokemon you've encountered. The reason why the professor wants you to have one is he wants us to go on a journey with our Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. To put it together, to put it in another way, it's a very important mission from the professor. I'm sure of it. I'm lining up, Travs. You're way too serious sometimes. And um, Judge PH Games, take this with you too. It's a letter from the professor. You should give it to your mum. It's a It's a permission slip to allow us to go on this adventure. It is not what our mum is about to say it is. When we get back to home. Alright, we've done our errand for Professor. I guess me and Trevs will go and look for Pokemon. Let's go, Trevs. I do not want to go with this guy. But I will. In the Chaos region, kids are chosen to carry a Pokedex to go on a Pokemon adventure. But you need to give that letter to your mum before you go. It's a permission slip. She won't let you go without it. Okay. So I will do that. I will go and give my mum this permission slip to allow us to go on this meeting. Just PH Games, wait! You're going to be my opponent in my Pokemon battling debut! Okay, little Chespin, it's our first battle! That's when we're style! You were challenged by Shauna. Okay. Now the one thing I love about these Pokemon battles is the fact is, uh, and they, they carried this over to Auras as well, and the, one of the things I love is, the fact is we get the elemental moves to start off with, so this is a breeze. Go on, Foxy. And the AI is not that smart in these games, so, you know, it's easier to win, especially this first battle anyway. So there we go, not bad. Well done, Foxy. I wasn't done collecting my cute chapter yet. I don't care. 
And we see five hundred dollars. Not bad. You're amazing, Joe's PH Games. I know, I know, I know I'm amazing. I'll fix your Pokemon up for you. Okay, thank you. Say hi to your mum for me. How do you know my mum? Seriously, how do you know my mum? I know my mum, you don't know my mum. Okay, so we're going back down Route 1 now. I'm going to go and talk to my mum. So, how did your meeting with the new neighbour kids go? What did you end up doing? Wait one second there, Joe. Is that a Pokeball you have there? Wow, you've got your very own Pokemon. Lucky you! How about that? You're a Pokemon trainer now too. Congratulations! Huh? A letter for me? It says it's from someone named Sycamore. Could it be a love letter? No, it's a permission slip to allow me to go on another Pokemon adventure. Silly mum. Wow, what lovely handwriting. Hmm. What is this here? A request? Yeah, it's a request. It's a permission slip. It's like when, you go, when you go on a field trip, you get you take these to your mum so you can get them signed when you're at school. I'm, be I'm pretty sure Beck knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, uh, one thing I would do want to say at this point in time, I need to go and say this right now, a massive, massive thank you to Baraki XY. She is the uh, head breeder of this lock, and she actually, I asked her... She's a very good friend of mine, and I asked her to breed the Mons for this series, and that's exactly what she did. So when when it's time for us to get to our first PC, I will get the Mons for this series, but I wanted to say a massive thank you to Baraki XY. Her link will be in the description of this episode and every episode from now on, because she's been a massive help to this series, and the fact is, she's almost at 400 subs now, so let's get her there. Yeah, let's get her to 400 subs. No, she's up. Yeah, I think she's just like broke 350, so you know, what's another 50 subs? Like, we can get her there. Oh, I see. Joe, you've barely unpacked, and all kinds of exciting things are happening to you. Okay, let's get you and Fennekin ready for your journey. By the way, Mum, its name is Foxy. Here you are. I even packed a change of clothes for you. Thanks, Mum. What a se unexpected turn of events. It's, it's like a sudden bur last burst of speed from a race in a Rhyhorn race, apparently. I don't know if that for sure, because you don't get to do ra Rhyhorn racing. That would have been a fun event. That would have been a fun feature to put in X and Y. Maybe Pokemon Z. Maybe Pokemon Z you allow us to do some Rhyhorn racing, eh? Hey, Nintendo? Maybe? Maybe? Just going to put it out there. You met friends. You met your Pokemon. And now you get to have a lap around Kalos. And don't forget this. Yay, we got a town map. You know how to use a town map, right? Yes, I know how to use a town map. I'm not an idiot. This is not my first Let's Play. In fact, this is probably my fifth or sixth. That's my boy. You select a town map from your bag whenever you want to use it. I don't know what Professor Sycamore wants you to see on your trip. But taking a journey with Pokemon is always a wonderful experience. There's our Rhyhorn. <laughs> oh, what a card. I guess Rhyhorn wanted to uh, send you off on your journey. Well, I guess it's known you since you were born after all, so it would want to. Good luck, Joe. Go for broke and don't worry. You have Pokemon by your side, so you'll be fine. Thanks, Mum. You can actually climb aboard the Rhyhorn, but you can't leave the confines of the fence here, so there's no real point in having there's no real point in doing that. Except for maybe like thumbnail, but like I don't really want to do that. I've already got a perfect idea for the thumbnail for this series. Oh, for this episode anyway. So I don't need to do that. I'm gonna to talk to this guy here and he's gonna give us a free potion. This potion is free for you to use. Yay! Right. So, there's a few things I'll explain to you guys about Akrakura Town, which is where we are right now. Uh, first off, this shop here only sells potions. So you can buy potions here, potions and only potions. A potion will heal 20 HP, and you can buy only potions at this shop. 
over here is a shop that will only sell you Pokeballs. Pokeballs are what you use to catch wild Pokemon. But you get given a bunch of them in about five minutes when you get the catching demo from, uh, from Serena. So there's no real point in buying Pokeballs here. But you can buy Pokeballs here before you go and uh, go and get the catching demo done. And then over here is a rest house where you can heal your Pokemon up if they've been injured by battle. So that's pretty cool too. Hey there trainer. If you step into the tall grass a wild Pokemon will pop out. But you'll be fine because you have your Pokemon po Pokemon partner there ready to battle for you. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we're going to go across this bridge here. And we're going to encounter a level 3 Pidgey. Because uh, your first encounter in this game will always be a Pidgey. It'll either be level 2 or level 3. It's still uh, This one's level 3. That's pretty cool. But uh, it will always be a Pidgey. They'll either be level 2 or level 3. And it's just to show off the fact that there are encounters in this grass. It's just a predetermined encounter. You will always run into a Pidgey. So technically you could say this is a predetermined encounter. So you could actually say that this is a set encounter. And allow yourself, if you were doing a Nuzlocke, to allow yourself to have the Pidgey and an encounter on the route as well. Since it's predetermined, you're going to run into a Pidgey. So, you know, you could do that as well. But I don't know. Oh, hi, Joey's PH Games. Come on, learn how to catch a Pokemon with me. Serena's mom and dad are both amazing ace trainers. <laughs> That's why she knows so much about Pokemon and battling. Well, mom and dad are may be good, but that's nothing to do with me. Now watch carefully, you two. Really? I don't want to watch carefully at all. I don't need to watch this. And you already have a Fletchling, so this is not... Imp you already have two Pokemon. You have a Fletchling and you have your uh, Froakie. And, like, why can't I have a Froakie? Okay, so you tackle it and then lay it. And then this Pokemon leers at you to lower your defense. And since you can now throw a Pokeball at it, since it's got like barely any health left, so go and throw that Pokeball already. Why do you have 50 Pokeballs? You don't need that many. Nobody needs that many unless you're trying to catch a legendary. One, two, three, yay. Okay, she caught the Pidgey. Oh. Buttleby or whatever she caught. She caught something. Wow, the Pokemon went inside the Pokeball? Shona, what do you think your chest bin's inside right now? Here, I'll share some Pokeballs with you. Here's some for you. And here's some for you. Pokeballs? Do you think I can catch wild Pokemon with them too? Sure you can. You can catch a Pokemon around here by just throwing a Pokeball nearby it. It'll go in by itself. Okay, if I find any cute Pokemon, I'll throw Pokeballs at them and we'll become friends! When you catch a wild Pokemon, sometimes it makes your Pokemon stronger too. Good luck. Okay. So what can I find here? I'm not going to find it. I'm not going to. I'm just going to run away from the Pokemon. No, it's a kind of bug. Actually, I could do this. For, I could use this for grinding because the fact is, I got a forest to go through in a minute. So, you know, right. Oh, almost level seven. I wanted level seven. I guess we can go and face this one random trainer. So you get the first random trainer on this route too, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to face this one random trainer and then I'm going to end today's episode. So we're going to face Youngster Austin and his Zigzagoon. Now, once I get to uh, the uh, first gym town, I will be trying. Uh, once I get through this forest here, I'll be trying to avoid as many trainers as possible because the fact is, I'm going to need to grind. So there will be a grinding montage once we get our mons. And I will be using a random number generator to uh, decide which mons are coming with us at the time. Once we have all the mons. So that's pretty much what I'll be doing. Plus I will be use I will be catching like 18 or 19 mons to uh, trade with Beck. They won't be any good mons or anything like that. They won't have any IVs or anything. They'll just be fodder from, this from these routes that I'll be trading with Beck. So Beck can get rid of them if she wants to. Let me get level 7. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, so this is where I'm going to choose to end today's episode. So, in today's episode, we started our adventures right here in the Camelos region. We got our Fennekin, which is Foxy, which is going to be a sort of a starter Pokemon until we can get to the uh, PC. And where we learnt about Pokemon, uh, how to catch a Pokemon, and all this other stuff as well. And I introduced you to this series. So, if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Answer today's question of the day, which of course is... What is your favourite Sith Gen starter? And until next time, I'm Joe's PH Games, and I am out. See you again.